Good morning, family. Good afternoon to you, whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on. I want to welcome you to the mental house. Excuse me, family. Uh, I want to welcome you, welcome you, welcome you. And hope that everything is okay. Help every, Hope everything in your world is going uh, pretty good, um, as well as can be. Know that you're blessed. Uh, it's good to be on this side of the dirt as opposed to the other side. So many of us didn't even make it. We didn't even wake up this morning. So whatever your circumstance and whatever the situation, um, find a way to be grateful today. Okay, let's get it in, y'all. I want y'all to hear the madness. Um, however maddening it can be. This is the mental house. And um, I thought this article was rather interesting because it's so damn crazy. And it only be fitting for the rest of the um, sad and mental conversations and the mental state of our world. Uh, Trump star witness Melissa Caron swears she wasn't drunk during bizarre Rudy Giuliani hearing, says she won't quarantine despite contact with him and doesn't know if he was aware of her sex tape prosecution. I just want y'all to marinate, uh, uh, let that sizzle in your spirit for a little bit. How about I read that again? How about I read that again? <laughs> Trump's star witness. Now, this is the star witness. Melissa Caron swears that she wasn't drunk during a bizarre Rudy Giuliani hearing. And says she won't quarantine despite contact with him and doesn't know if he was aware of her sex tape prosecution. Don't you think he should? Don't you think uh, <laughs> they should be aware of that since she's representing? Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. I guess that's just as bad as the black shoe polish running down the man's side of his face. But um, Lisa Caron, 33, gave her first interview Tuesday since appearing as Trump's star witness at his Michigan voter fraud hearing last week. The mother of two had faced immediate backlash over her performance. She hit back at claims that she was drunk as she delivered her testimony and said, that's just my personality. You know, my, my personality is that of a drunk. Caron said that she will not quarantine despite sitting beside Trump lawyer Giuliani and Jenna Ellis, who have both tested positive for COVID-19. Now, I, I don't know if y'all know the definition of a cult, um, but I have been in several cults in my life. Time. Just so y'all know, I'm trying to keep it real. Uh, some churches operate as a cult. Um, to some degree, the uh, mosque can operate as a cult. And I know y'all going to get mad at me saying that, but I'm just going to tell you what it's been for me. That's why I'm not a big fan of religion. Okay. And at this day and age, I'm unapologetic for it. Um, it emerged after the hearing that Caron had recently completed a 12-month parole for a charge linked to a sex tape. Oh, she just fits in this administration, these people very well. And this is who y'all like, to, uh, like uh, at least 70 million of the people in America. Um, we're only 150-something uh, million country. And almost half of y'all Almost half of y'all like this kind of stuff and wants this to represent you. Um, she said she would follow the quarantine order if, only if it came from Donald Trump. Now, let's just examine this for a minute. She's sitting in between two people with corona. 
And this broad don't got enough sense to use her own dome to decide that she's in the wrong place and that she should be taking some kind of precaution or should even be here with these people because they have coronavirus. They have tested positive. So with that being said, anything that happens to Miss Melissa Carone, I'm saying goody, goody, goody. Well, you found someone to knock you off your feet. Goody, goody. I mean, I don't know what else to say to you. This is so ridiculous. I mean, come on, America. Come on. This is our best. We got the nerd to place judgment on other countries and other people. Uh, the projection is maddening. President Trump, his witness, is, is having to defend herself from being drunk. On camera, Okay. She even brushed off the criticism, of course, that she's not concerned at all that she could be getting the coronavirus. This woman is highly insane. And just like the rest of them, again, I think she fits in quite nicely with uh, Trump and his associates. The thing is, do we really, really have to endure this? Because if history should serve us correctly, and if the diagnosis or at least the behavior that Donald Trump is exempt is is showing everybody, don't you think we should be a little bit concerned about what's going to happen between now and the twentieth? I mean, I'm just saying. Can somebody please help me out with this? Please leave your comment below. Are any of y'all at least bit concerned about the state of affairs from now until the 20th? Dealing with this lunatic and his drunks and cocaine users or whatever the hell else they are. What do y'all think about that? Because this individual that has a sex offense. Oh, listen, I'm done. I'll see y'all in the next video.